Ah, yes, yeah, you, you, you too. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Yeah. In the Quran, yeah, no, too. So now I take off my bra. No, no, in the no, Quran. You have and you have. You know what I'll do. Brother, brother, wait. Yeah. Look, look. In the Quran, both the men and the women have been told to lower the case. No. Not just one. They have to control themselves and the men. No, no, it says for both, not for one. Who said only one? No, both. Then, no. Yes, in the Quran. But women are covered. Men are not. No, no. Allah says in the Quran. Look at you in a sexual way. We need to go look at the other direction. You know, in the if I see in the Quran, COVID, yeah, yeah. But if look, they're look here. If they're not COVID, brother, brother, COVID. brother, one, one second. Let's not make this a competition between the male and the female. Islam says that the male. I mean, we don't believe that men and women are a competition. We say the men and women they complete each other. Does it make sense? Okay, so it's not a competition for us. Yeah, it's, it's not a competition. You know, there are certain things which is a responsibility of only the men in Islam. For example, financial responsibility is always with the men. What are you going to say? It is it is something which is not equal? Or would you actually agree with that? You don't? No. Would you like, when you go on a date, would you like your boyfriend to pay for your meal? Ah, it's the same. It's not the same. Most, yeah, of, the same. most of the women... We have the same rights. No, no, no. It's not about the rights. It's not about the rights. It's about what you feel. Most of the most of the women would love for their male counterpart to, to pay for the bill. I'm not saying that is something that they have to do in the society, but in Islam, this is the responsibility of all the men. So even if even if uh, the woman was earning and she was a millionaire and uh, the husband wasn't, even then it is the man's responsibility in Islam. So we have certain rules which mandatory for men and certain which are for women. For example, looking after the children, to nurture them, to bring them up. Yes, not the financial responsibility, but the responsibility to bring them up. Hold on, hold on, I won't finish. But when when it comes to giving birth, would you say to your man, go and give birth? I can't give. You, you're saying what women have to do. Why? You're saying that I have to do something. No, no, it's not about that you have to do it. Like I said, yeah, it is what it is what completes you as a couple but you when you help each other if you're saying a man is saying that a woman has to do something yeah. you know the fashion the is not if, I, if i told you, you understand? yeah if i told you that the fashion world that you follow was designed by men what would you say Everything that you follow in fashion today is by men. Yeah. When you wear high heels. Because men are good at design. No, no, no. Hey. Yeah, it's, it's I don't think the feminists will agree with you. <laughs> okay? They will tell you are you are going against the women's ability and their intellect. Because the women can design very nicely. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, it's true. Okay. You know there are many women. They wear... Men are, uh, have more uh, possibilities to study and to... Uh, men have more possibilities? Yeah. In which society? Yeah. We are living in Europe today. And I think are, also in Europe today. They say, they say men and women have equal possibilities. I don't think it's the opposite look at now. work. Look at it's work. Look at women at work. That they have to do what they are. Uh, um, okay. They're fired. They're fired. They're fired. They're fired. They are equal. Yeah. What, what, have you, what have you studied? Now? Yeah, what have you studied? Classic school. Classic? Yeah. Classical literature? Uh, Greek, high Latin, high school. High school. Classical high school. Yeah, okay, I so arts, basically. The, arts, yeah? The Greek, uh, Latin. Yeah, yeah, arts. Yeah. What about you, Sim? No, no, I am I'm older. I have a degree. You got a degree? Yeah, I have in a what? degree in uh, social sciences and languages. Very good, yeah. Have you ever considered that the amount of time that women have been liberated? Even today, if you look at all the, um, for example, engineering and even mathematics, it's mostly men. Why? We have all the possibilities today, all the opportunities, but it's still men are going in those because disciplines. There is, because there are still men like you that say that women have to stay with uh, uh, children at home. And men like me? Cook. What about women you like you? Before you say it before. No, no, I said, said. I said they complete each other. You said. I said yeah, the financial responsibility. Said, but you say that the women have to stay at because home they, and to stay with children because yeah. it's what they and you, have. And you said women. And you said women, what they yeah, have. And you said women don't have. You said women don't. Women are not good at fashion as men. I can say something. You said women are not good at fashion as men. No, I do this. Okay. Okay. So we are equal now. Good. One and all. Okay. What I'm saying is that the fashion that you follow today, it is dictated by men. 
So the you have a wear high heels? Our foot. What is that? No, high I'll heels, you know, your shoes. With, with the heels. Oh, no. You never wear it? No, I don't okay. like it. There are many there are many women who, who wear it. Not because they feel comfortable, it's because what society and fashion told them. Even though it's uncomfortable actually, it's actually uncomfortable and it's bad for your feet. But even then, they, you know why? I agree. Because the Gucci's and the Versace's are mostly men who tell you how to dress, who tell you what to wear, and you follow the men, even though you might not like it. When you apply lipstick in the morning and you go out and you wear your lovely clothes, or and you do your hair beautifully, yes, ah, uh, that's what the society made you think. That's what they made you think. Look at me. I have, I just don't have any leaves or. When I said you, I don't mean like just you as an individual. I mean the women. I agree with. Yeah. That now women have. You know all those fashion magazines? Those fashion magazines, you know why the women buy them? Why? To be like other women. Thank you. I agree. And those other women and those other women who designs the clothes? But what's the point of your The point is who designs the clothes? We are agree with them. No, no, who designs the clothes? Men or women? Thank you. So the women the women are not doing it for themselves. They think they're doing it for themselves. But in reality, you know you know why you don't dress like the Victorian era? Like hundred years from today? Why you don't dress like them like you know they had big gowns where you can't even see the feet yeah but there was some we're talking generally okay I, I don't think you have worn a Victorian gown because there isn't there is Instagram there are a lot of social debt influence yes exactly so these social influences are by men and they influence you and other women what to wear what kind of hair to make up what kind of makeup to put and what kind of jewelry to wear even okay so the the women have sorry the men still dictate a lot of things the way you operate in the society today. Okay, what I'm saying is that the reason these women cover, yes, why do you cover? What is the first reason? Exactly. So they, so, no, 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 no. If they have to protect from someone, it means that someone is an animal that doesn't... Uh, someone is an animal? In, yes. What are you on about? In general. What do you mean man or animal? I don't know which man you're talking about. You are beastie, I don't know okay. which man you hang around with. Why? Why is she able to cover? Ask her. No, I'm saying why is she No, no, ask her. Because... Wait, I asked you, so you so asked you her. you can't resist to her because no. she's not beautiful. That's not true. No, no, no. No. Are you saying you're not beautiful? So I can resist you, I can resist them? Seriously? No, 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 no. For us, for us, for the women. But she said to protect. No, no. For the women. From what? Wait, for the women. The, from what? Brother, wait a minute. The reason, if you ask a question, let me answer. Give me a minute, please, yeah? First and foremost, they cover is because God told them to do. Okay? Here. Number two, number two, the cover is to identify them from the women who are not believers. So you know there are many Muslim women who don't cover? Okay? No, no, wait, wait let me finish. The, what differentiates a covered woman from a woman who's not covered is to show that they are the believing women. Just like, just like a nun differs from another Christian who doesn't cover is because they will say that this nun has given her life to God. So she's a believing woman, yes? Even in Christianity. There are people, even in other religions like Hinduism, they have something called, they have a veil they put, yes, and after they get married, they're not able to show the face and so on. So there are other communities, other societies who also cover. The women and the men have never said that they are equal in everything. There's always a difference, either physiologically, either in strength, either even in intellect, in the mercy they show. But let's concentrate on what she says. She says, I have to protect. Who? Okay, when you say protect, no, answer to me. Yeah, yeah. From what? Well, what did she say exactly? What do you mean protect? Protect from what? Who said protect? Okay, so there was. She's not around. She's gone. Okay. But protect is from you protect from something because if you don't need to be protected, yes, you can agree with me. How? Okay. It's up to you. I'm talking about the same. A man problem. Okay. No, it's not your problem. It's not yours. I know. Oh, can I tell you why now? Okay, so one, one of the reasons is that imagine there is a woman. No, I'm, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. I, imagine there is a woman who walks past a group of men. Say there is a there, there is a club over there in the site, and there are two women who walk by in, in separately. Yeah, one of them walks by. She's not dressed very appropriately. She's showing a lot of skin. Can I finish, please? And then you'll get the answer. She's not dressed appropriately. She's showing a lot of skin, and she walks past. 
lost. Yes, the men look at her and they start whistling. They make remarks at her. Yes. And it's your problem. Can I finish, please? Can I finish? And then I'll give you the answer. I know you have already said answers. Okay. There's another woman who is a nun and she walks past. None of them say a word. They respect her. Some even give her way. They move out of the way. Who's problem? Can I please? If you let me finish, right now the problem is yours because you keep interrupting. I think you got a problem. That's why you keep interrupting. Let me finish. Let me finish. Ask, ask. Now you go and ask that woman and that nun. Why were you both treated equally? What do you think will be the answer? I didn't understand. Exactly. You are not listening because you are always interrupting. When you ask a question, with all due respect, you should at least listen to the answer. Now, can I I'll repeat myself, no problem. Okay, but this time, please don't interrupt and listen. There are two women... Four hours, I can't... Well, you asked me a question. I'm, I was hoping that you were looking for an answer. I'm listening. Good. What I'm saying is that if the women, if they dress in a certain way, then they will expect a reaction in that way. There are many women who look good, you know, so the people will tell them that you look beautiful. Yes? Bellissima, whatever is in Italian, yeah? <laughs> okay, so they say you're a beautiful person. Yes? And they feel good about that. They feel proud that they're dressed like that. Now, if you tell me I'm dressing like this for myself, I don't believe that. Because they were expecting that reaction from the other person. That's why we, they feel good about it. Now, this other woman who is covered from head to toe, you know why she's covering? She's covering it for God, not to show other women or other men that they have beautiful body, they have beautiful skin. No doubt they are beautiful. God has made you beautiful, mashallah, you know. But but she's covering, she's covering and she's saving it for whom? For the person that matters to her. And you are not answering to my question. What was your question? Whose problem? In what case? She said, I have to protect. Whose problem? Wait, wait. Why do you think? It's her. I gave you. Yours. I gave you three examples and you're only sticking on protection. It's not about protection as you as you as an individual. Because even if she's... Listen, listen. Even if a woman is covered from head to toe, it doesn't stop a man abusing her if he wanted to. I'm not saying... It's not, a, it's not your... What do you say? Your shield. But it will show them respect. Because it's your problem and you have to control your instinct. Okay, what is my problem? What is my problem? Go on. That you can't control your instinct that a woman... They need yeah, to be. Now yeah. for women and men. Yeah, I told her that. Already. Yes. We told her, yeah. So, for men? Yeah. I told her that already that in the Quran, that the lowering of the gaze is for both men and women. Yes, that means both of them, God is giving you options to stop precautions. To give you, yeah, to give you the option to protect yourself in such a manner for both men and women. Like, for I example. the answer. Again? I repeat. You repeat what? Why? From what they have to protect each other? Yeah. From what? No, to you protect, say, to protect. I have to protect them. From what? To protect. What? Okay, wait a minute. The reason you want to narrow down your response to only protection. From your dirty mind. My dirty they mind. Have, your have you looked at my mind? Brain, okay. Not yours. By the way, by the way, all men, all men, when they look at a beautiful woman. They feel physically attracted. This is something not. It is not true. Women not. Oh, so you. So you have a dirty mind too. Yeah. <laughs> so why are you blaming and the men only then? And that's why you have to cover. Okay. Too. But why are you so so in your case. Uh, wait wait. You in your case, because you have a dirty mind, how do you how do you get around it? What do you do? Brother, brother, woman abuses man as well. So sexually. Yeah, I know, I know that. Physically, she knows, she knows that. Because you have a dirty mind, what do you do about it? How do you, how do you get around in the society? Of course, you have to go now. I have to go. No, I have to go. No, it's because it's the same. Yeah. Okay. Fine, fine now. But basically, the main difference, like I told you, is to distinguish them from the believing women and the women who are not believing in the sense that they don't give their life to God. That is the main difference. To identify themselves as believing women is the main reason. Okay. Who's bringing the, 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 the food, whatever, like, who's paying the bills? Yeah, we, we discussed that already, brother. Who's, who's like, you know, when you're going to yours, yeah. That's the second discussion today on, uh, on women in Islam and in Christianity. The other one we had earlier as well. Alhamdulillah. Please subscribe to Dawah Wise, everyone, and the other channels as well.